Okay. We're very proud of uh, I have people in Turkey, and I have people in Saudi Arabia and other places, and they're all coming back as we speak. They're heading back. Um, I'll know, I think, everything in a very short period of time. It's a bad situation. But uh, certainly, President Erdogan was not complimentary of what happened. That was a terrible thing that happened. Uh, can you tell us what you think about what the Turkish president said today? I want to see the facts first. Uh, look, Saudi Arabia has been a really great ally. They've been one of the biggest investors, maybe the biggest investor in our country. Uh, they are doing hundreds of billions of dollars worth of investments and, you know, so many jobs, so many jobs thousands and thousands of jobs. And if you look at the other side, Iran, you look at what they've done to people, vicious, horrible. And that's no excuse for what happened with Saudi Arabia, no excuse whatsoever. But you take a look, it's a rough part of the world. It's a, it's a nasty place, it's a nasty part of the world. But if what happened happened, and if the facts check out, it's something that's very bad. At the same time, they have been a very good ally of ours. They've been helping us a lot with respect to Israel. They've been funding a lot of things. Uh, and thousands of jobs. And if you look, I will tell you that Russia and China would love to have that military order. I mean, I can say it to my Democrat friends, too. I mean, they would love this is $110 billion worth of military. And Russia would pick that up very quickly, and China would pick it up very quickly, and France would pick it up very quickly. France makes a lot of military equipment. It's a very competitive market. But I'm very proud. I think it should be brought back. I'm somebody that wants I did a great job when I sold them. That's why I went to Saudi Arabia first. I went to Saudi Arabia on the basis that they would buy hundreds of billions, many billions of dollars worth of things. And the ultimate number is around $450 billion. 110 for military, 450 billion. I think that's over a million jobs, a million to over a million jobs. So we do that, we're just hurting ourselves. We're just hurting ourselves. And I, I know that from a certain standpoint, you could also say, well, it doesn't matter because it is a terrible thing. But uh, we would be really hurting ourselves. We'd be hurting our companies, we'd be hurting our jobs. And uh, so we'll see what happens. Thank you, Jake.